Good morning, boys and girls. I'm so glad to be here to tell you a Bible story this month. Now, this year, we're going to be talking about the fruit of the Spirit. And I'm wondering if you know what that's all about. So let me show you something. See, I've got here a bowl of fruit. And um, <clears throat> this is an orange. What does an orange grow on? It grows out of an orange tree, right? Okay. How about, how about an apple? Grows out of an, ap an apple tree. And uh, did you know that a tomato is a fruit? And it grows on a tomato plant. And a banana. Now, if you said it grows on a banana tree, you'd be wrong because it's not a banana tree. It's a banana plant. And grapes grow on a grapevine. But in our lives, we are born with something inside of us that isn't very good. It's called our sin nature. And... Um, our sin nature grows fruit. It grows things like hatred, lying, disobeying our parents. That's what our sin nature grows. But when we trust in Jesus, when we take him to be our savior, then the Holy Spirit comes and lives inside of us and he starts growing his fruit, which is really good. And what is his fruit? Well, let me show you. Love. Joy. Peace. Long-suffering. Gentleness. Goodness. Faith, meekness, and self-control. Now, if you have a different translation of the Bible, different translations translate these a little bit differently. So some, some might say love, joy, peace, patience instead of long-suffering. They mean about the same thing. And they might have some different ones in there. Um, but they mean about the same thing. Uh, so this month we are going to talk about the first one, which is love. And this would be God's kind of love that he puts in our lives. He grows it in our lives. And what is God's love like? Well, for one thing, it's perfect. When God loves us, he loves us perfectly. So... If you do something wrong, does God love you less? No. He loves you perfectly. He can't love you any other way. If you do something really good, does he love you more? No, he already loves you perfectly. So God's love is perfect. His love is also unconditional. Now that's kind of a big word, isn't it? So unconditionally means that no matter what you do he's still gonna love you so sometimes when our friends do something we don't like we might stop we might stop loving them right and so we have a kind of love when we're born when we love our parents, we love our friends, we love our, you know, our family. Um, it's sort of like something that makes us feel good. Sort of like uh, putting lotion on dry skin, you know, like this, you know, might make us feel kind of good. But it's very limited. Ugh, it's really hard to get it out of us into this container and pretty soon, you know, we're having a bad day and we don't feel like loving anybody, right? But God's not, God's not like that. God's love is unlimited. 
So I'm going to give you sort of what God's love is like. Um, he loves us no matter what, and he never runs out of love. And it keeps going and going and going and going and going until it overflows. And that's the kind of love we want to have. That's the kind of love we want to have for all other people, not just our family and our friends, but everyone that we might ha, meet. Um, now, granted, this would run out eventually, but God's love never runs out. And he can put his love in us. He can grow his love in us. That is the first fruit of the Spirit.